Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So today I'm playing once again with Commander Hashtrable. I do prefer to play him with the Cavalry, giving him a lot of mobility and great many chances to support your team members. Although I am sure that Spears and Swordsmen are also reasonable choices. Unfortunately, Hashtrable's buffing and debuffing still doesn't make any score. So that means we have to be viable in some other way. I usually don't play for the score, but for the victory. But still it is painful to see if you're doing actually a lot of support and uh, your score is practically empty. Like I will be trying to do it here. I will be buffing my friendly elephants and I will be debuffing the opposing elephants. Hoping to increase the chances of my team members. Well here, in a moment, it will seem to have paid out, at least slightly. At first, there isn't much of a difference, but after the elephants start fighting each other, you will see that the damage inflicted to my friendly elephants is a lot smaller than the damage inflicted to the opposing elephants. It also seems to be how you play your elephants. For example, all of my friendly elephants here are attacking while it seems that one of the opposing elephants is just pretty much stomping and doing nothing more. But if we consider the damage that both elephants inflicted to each other, there is significant difference. Well, I guess I should be thanking my opposing team here for creating me this uh, lovely cap between their units, which I was able to use to take down their slingers and archers. With Carthage cavalry, it can be really hard to take down the ranged units. Because the cavalry itself is fast and agile, but doesn't pack too big of a punch. Of course, if you can get to the ranged units and you can fight them, you can take them down. There is no doubt about it. But the problem may arise if there is someone coming to their defense. It will take you a lot longer to take down the archers with Cortis cavalry than it will with barbarians or Greece or Romans. But that doesn't mean it is a bad cavalry. It is a unit with specific playstyle and tactics. But the main problem that may arise when playing Commander Hashtrapal with the cavalry is when you're playing with a team who doesn't play logical or tactical. Your support is needed at key locations and I'm not just talking about uh, buffs and debuffs. Also the Numidian throw which is very special for the cartridge and the Hastropol's commander's charge, which is flying columns. That charge is on such a low cooldown that it should actually be used to flank opponents. Of course, I do mean already engaged opponents. You will have a great chances. If they react to you, they expose their rear. If they don't react towards you, your charge can do a lot of harm. It can mess up opponents' plans and ruin their tactics. Or if you do see that their morale is low, you can still try and uh, stay engaged for that flanking power. Also, to be viable like that, you need a lot of teamwork. You don't need team members who go head on in just to die. You need your team members to create you that situation where you can support them by buffs or by flanking. If your team goes fully offense into bottlenecks, the engagement areas where opponents want to fight them, if they don't even give archers chances to weaken those opponents in the bottlenecks. That doesn't mean it was your fault you couldn't support. It means that those melee infantries weren't experienced enough to handle these situations and because of their own greed they got demolished by tactics. Oh god, I think I'm talking way too much about tactics. So, the main focus of this video was to point out that these buffs that Hashtrapal has are still really good. They can make a lot of difference. Especially in the case of the elephants, because the damage they inflict is huge. But the problem may arise if we compare it to sword infantry, for example. And to kill off opponents, it will take a lot longer for the swords and spears. Well, the bribe has a long cooldown and very short duration even if upgraded to the max. While the deep pockets, in the other hand, seem quite reasonable. Well, this was it about supporting with the Hashtrable. I actually wanted to make a bit longer video, but, well, I was in a bit of a 
time jam or time trouble, so this will have to do for now. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.